Hello guys, welcome to Python and Machine Learning Daily. Today we will be talking about machine learning and in ML projects you often need to split the data into training and testing datasets. We usually do that with train test split method from scikit-learn library and today we will talk about one parameter to that method that is often unclear for beginners, random state. So you have X and Y variables and you allocate 20% to testing. But what is random state? Why is it often zero in the tutorials? Or it may be one or even 42 is used often. What is 42 and why is it so? And what is the maximum or minimum number? And what happens if we don't provide that random state? Let me explain with examples. So as an example, I've taken a very small CSV file with just 10 rows of years of experience and salary for those years of experience. I've divided that into X and Y. So X is the first column, Y is the second column. And then we split the data, as I said, and the result of X train is eight lines of data. So from 10 lines, from 10 rows, we have eight for training. And let's try different options of random state. So if we have random state zero, we execute, and this is the result, randomized set of data. If we change that to one, we execute, and we have differently randomized set of data. Let's try two, another set of data in a different order and differently taken those 80%. What about 42? Almost the same with a bit difference. So as you can see, different numbers represent different splits. But the main thing that each number has stable data set. So if you execute random state zero later, it will be the same set as you executed earlier in that script a day ago or a month ago, random state zero will be saved with this specific data set. And that's the main difference between providing random state and not providing. Random state could be any number from zero to a very big number that doesn't really matter. That number doesn't mean the size of the data or a specific algorithm to be used. It's just kind of like ID for this specific data set. Why would you need that? Because in machine learning projects, after you predict something or classify something, then you measure the accuracy of your model. And so that accuracy would be stable and not changing. You would work with the same train and testing data each time. But if you don't want to do that, you want to be fully randomized, then you just don't provide random state. And if we execute that, we have a different order. And if we execute that cell again, we will each time have a different set for training and testing, which means that our prediction may be different each time we run that script. And finally, if we get back to the example of 42, why 42? And there is a Stack Overflow question specifically about that. Someone asked, why random state is 42 hard coded because quite a lot of tutorials are using specifically that number. And the answer is kind of a geeky way to use the number 42 as the answer to ultimate question of life, universe and everything from the book Hitchhiker Guide to the Galaxy. You can call it programming humor. So if you don't know which number to put anywhere in the function, just use 42 because it's ultimate answer to everything. But in practice, that random state 42 is no different than random state zero or one or bigger numbers. As I said, it's just an identifier for certain train and test data sets. I hope this video clarifies that parameter of random state and I was confused by that myself in the very beginning of my ML journey. And if you have any more questions around this topic or other topics or ideas for future videos, shoot in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel to get daily videos about machine learning in Python and see you guys in those other videos.